Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and Christine is with me today, and we're going to highlight Madeline Black's workshop on our site called Pelvis in Motion. And she shows, well, Madeline is just brilliant, and she shows um, so many different aspects of how to work with the pelvis on the leg and the leg on the pelvis and how that relates to our rib cage and spine and it is just a beautifully done workshop you're going to learn so much from it i highly highly recommend it and this exercise today is looking at the tail wag the pure hip shrug movement of our pelvis on our really our stable um, rib cage and also really being aware that the TL junction that um, transfer between the thoracic and the lumbar spine stays full so this is going to be very very small so the legs stay in place and so what I want to see Christine do is wag her left hip up to her left armpit Good, beautiful, and then she'll come back to center. So she's very, very good. And right hip up to the right armpit, beautiful, and coming back to center. And guess what? She is using the Goldilocks right amount of work in her upper body, right, Christine? Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of work throughout the spine. So now I want Christine to show us the not so good version of this. So what we're looking at, and this is what our clients will do, right? So she's putting more weight onto her right leg. She Look at, she's side bending through her rib cage and come back to center. Good, so we're not getting a pure movement from the pelvis. We're not really getting where our pelvis actually moves from, that lubrication and that um, really inviting those nerve res receptors to come to the party. So let's look at that again, the, the optimal. So she's using the Goldilocks right amount and she's bringing left hip up to the left armpit. Look, this stays full, the rib cage stays symmetrical, beautiful. And we're trying not to shift the weight on the knees. She's shrugging, good, and then come back to center. And then let me see the right side. Beautiful, now hold here. So uh, there's a little tiny bit of uh, rotation of her pelvis. It's so small, but I have to find something. And so when she shrugs the right hip up to the right armpit, I want her to think about just slightly dropping that right hip down towards the floor, but still reach into your right arm. Good, and then gently come back to center. Good, do one more on each side. So that tail wag to the left, beautiful. And then come back to center, and that little tail wag to the right, nice, so keep reaching into that right arm. You're doing enough. All I want you to think about, stay to the right just a little bit. All I want you to think about is keep reaching into that arm, and as if this side of the pelvis just wants to fall towards the floor. Good, and put a little bit more weight into your left knee. So come over to your left knee. Uh-huh, there you go, Keep, that's the key, whoop, that was the key for her. So she stayed into her left knee, she got her right arm, beautiful, and come back to center, and then sit back into child's pose. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.